Hi, this is Wendy Antonucci, and this is created for Hip Kit Club. It is called Together Merry Christmas, using the November kits. I started with this paper and my photo block, and I decided it looked really great right there over that house, because I was going to talk about how this is a house. I added the little sticker. Um, I wanted to pull the red up, so I started with the paper designed by Kim Watson for the top. And then I really didn't have any other embellishments I knew I wanted to use, and everything was so heavy on the bottom, so I found all these little bits and pieces for the top, starting with my bold title that I create, cut from the um, wreath cut file that Kim Watson designed. And as you can see, I kind of created a, um, a tree form here. But then I thought it might need a little dressing up, so I tried the wreath. And I tried that, and in my mind it might have worked, but it didn't work here, especially since I had already glued down all my little bits and pieces. But um, I thought maybe. And then I tried it in vellum. I love cutting in vellum, um, cutting vellum out. It adds a little bit of something, but it doesn't overpower. Um, and for me, a cut file should just be an addition, not the whole focus of the page. Here I picked out some little bits and pieces that were included, um, the um, foam pieces and then those little uh, stars. So I just added them in to continue my tree form and add a little bit of sparkle and some attention uh, to above that um, title. I love these um, puffy stickers and I knew I wanted to use the deer, no reason except that I really liked it. So he kind of went on the other side to anchor my um, my picture block down, my photo block. And while I love the dove there, I have another layout in my mind that I'm planning, so it had to be saved, so it got put back. Um, I wanted to add a little bit more color between the title and my photo block, so I chose this one, um, this Pink Fresh Studio uh, charm, acrylic charm piece. And that's pretty much my whole layout. Um, for me, that's quite simple. There's not many um, embellishments, but when I noticed that I had formed a, um, a tree form, I didn't wanna add too much and distract from that. And that kind of happened by itself. I didn't plan on that to start with. I've, um, I'm just looking for a few pieces here. I decided to use one of the phrases from the gold sticker sheet. And I liked it there, but I liked it even better on the bottom. And unfortunately, you can't quite see that now, but you'll see it later when I show my final layout. Um, I also added a strip of the wooden piece to kind of um, hold down my layout. It could have gone either way. Um, as I look at it now, I think I like it better without, but it looked great there too. When I realized that I had a tree design, I... Uh, needed a star for the top of my tree. So I went and tried some of the flare and I like that one But that's a lot of words at the top So I kept looking until I found this acrylic red star, which was the perfect touch Now I'm going to add in my journaling um, In this design I did not feel like I had a lot of room that needed writing So I just squeezed in my thoughts right here, which we're just pretty much telling the date and who was with us in this picture and this layout is done, except there's still those lovely enamel dots from my mind's eye that I'm going to dress things up with a little bit more. My favorite tool for putting little embellishments is, um, I believe it's a calligraphy pen. I don't know. I got it in some class years ago. Um, it kind of has a pokey end, and so I can move around dots. I can move around letters. Uh, I use it to get my cut files off my board, uh, off the sticky sheet. Um, but this way I can move them around and decide where I like them. Um, Again, I'm just sticking in that tree form, kind of adding a little bit of sparkling lights to this layout, which is, um, it has my neighbor's tree, um, but it's just telling one more activity we did for Christmas last year. It's hard to believe it's almost time for Christmas this year again. Um, and I'm sure many of you are getting ready and, and everybody is looking forward to it. I know my children are already quite excited. So thank you for joining me today, and here's a few little peeks of the details, and um, you can see more on my blog. Thanks for joining me. Bye.